Hello YouTube viewers, hello eBay sellers, hello anybody interested in consumer protections. What I just ran into is this second chance offer that I have been given for this Apple iPod Nano 4th generation chromatic pink player right here. I really lucked out in this deal because there was somebody else who actually won this. I put way too much money on it. I didn't read the description well enough to understand that it said parts. Nobody puts $35 maximum bid on an iPod that is only good enough for parts, and I did. But I was going to uphold my end of the deal and pay for it anyway since I made a stupid mistake. However, I lucked out, and another buyer came along, and they outbid me by $1. <laughs> by chance, that buyer was a one feedback rated buyer. And apparently, they didn't pay for it. Well, now this seller is contacting me with the second chance offer, and you can see that there. The deal is, is that eBay is not giving it to me for where the person who ran the bid up, I think it was around $22. And we've learned in the video I made previously is $22 for an iPod that doesn't have a battery is way too much money. You can get this iPod working, no scratches, for $22, $25. That is what they're going for. eBay is trying to give it to me for 35 bucks here. I'm going to give them a call and see if we can get this worked out on the phone because in reality, this should go back down to where this one feedback bidder started bidding on it and that was somewhere around the $22 mark as my memory serves me because I do tend to look at those things. I go and I look at the bid history, which currently I am unable to get to. For whatever reason, I cannot see the bid history in this listing. I have even entered the listing trying to find the number here in completed listings or wherever. It's not showing up in completed listings apparently because it's not a completed listing. There's still an opening question on the finalization of this listing. I gotta give the eBay call again and when I get them on we'll cut you in. Thank you for calling eBay customer support. My name is Alexandra. And then your eBay user ID? A-A-A-I-S-M. Perfect. How can I help you today? I'm looking at an item that is being offered to me as a second chance offer. Okay. It's item number 1807-0506-7161. Okay. Yeah, it's telling me a price of 35 bucks. That shouldn't be right. It should be about $22 right now because um, the, the deadbeat buyer picked up the bid somewhere around 22 bucks and escalated to 35 but I'm not seeing anywhere where I can get the actual price that the bid was left off in my hands. And your maximum bid was not $35, it was about 20 something? No. I put a maximum bid of 35 bucks in there, but they picked up the bid and escalated it around 25 bu uh, 22 bucks. And now uh, I'm trying to look at it and I don't see a bid history or anything on here. No. Okay, perfect. Um, if it's alright, I'd like to just put you on hold for about two minutes while I pull this up for you. Yeah, you have to. Thanks, I'll be right back. So you guys catching on to this? That I shouldn't have to pay 35 bucks if this deadbeat buyer forced the bid up from 22 and then disappeared. The bid price should actually be at $22 right now. Not 35. And that was a real quick two minutes. Hi, William. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks so much for waiting. I appreciate it. So I'm just going through just to verify the amount that the second chance offer was sent to you at. And this is kind of a, a different situation um, because you were out on this item originally. But when a seller sends a second chance offer, the system sets that offer at the last maximum bid amount that the buyer placed on the item. So even though this other buyer outbid you when your bid was showing at $22, because your maximum bid amount on the item was 35 that's why the second chance offer was sent to you at that amount. 
That's it. So, so that would be why. Was this something that you and the seller had agreed to, to pay for the item at 22? No, but why would why would I pay 35 when I had it for 22 and you allowed a deadbeat buyer to run it up to 35? That's stupid. Well, we didn't allow him to do that. We didn't know that he was going to back out of his purchase on that item. Yeah, whatever. Anyhow, it it got ran up to $35 for whatever reason for you allowing it or not allowing it. It's up to 35 bucks and I should only be paying 22. Chris, it should not be offered to me at 35 bucks. It should be offered to me at 22. You guys allowed this buyer to run it up to 35. That's not my fault. There should be no other hassle here contacting the buyer or nothing. You should not be sending me this for 35. It should come back at 22. Everybody out there on eBay who gets a second chance offer is being offered whatever their maximum bid was and not the value of the bid when it was picked up by the deadbeat bar. That is just goddamn ludicrous. You guys need to fix that. Well, and that's certainly something I could take away from this and just and let them know that you would like to see this set up so that it shows the second chance offer amount at the amount that the second Come on, it's only in eBay's best interest to get a bigger return. That's all this is about. Well, it's actually a, a value to sellers, too, because if you have more than one of the items, then, you could, then you're not going to lose money on that second sale. Uh, we, we both know, don't kid me, we both know eBay has their own interests in mind ahead of everybody else. Bottom line. you don't want me to spend more of my time contacting your your suggestion box department there trying to tell them how to improve eBay? No, I'd be more than happy to pass that on for you. We certainly have a lot of meetings with our developers and our, our product team to go over how to improve features that are on the site and I'd be more than happy to bring this up for you. That's no problem at all. And I can certainly see what you're saying on the buyer's aspect that you had the Exactly, you guys are enabling the shield here. How do you mean? Well, the bid should have stopped at 22 and it, when this buyer came along who didn't have any intention to purchase this product and ran it up. That's shield bidding. 
You know, what I really find entertaining about this conversation is that I call up with so many other suggestions to prove, improve eBay, and they're all just as valid as this one. But I have to contact your suggestion department to get it accomplished. But this is the way that the second chance offer feature has always worked. It's always set the offer at the highest amount that the second highest bidder place. And like I said, you don't have to accept it. You can talk to the seller and see if he can sell you the item at twenty-two dollars. No, that's not the correct price. Come on, the correct price is twenty-two dollars. That's where that's where I should have got the item for. Well, and if proxy bidding had stopped at twenty-two dollars and this other person hadn't come in and bid, then you're right. You would have won it at twenty-two dollars. But ultimately, when you went in and you bid on this item, you told us you were willing to pay thirty-five. And that's why the item second chance offer went to you at that price. When I put 35, it was a maximum bid. It's, it's an amount up to 35, given that the value of the item actually is supported by other people believing that it's at $35. But it stopped at 22, so the shield bid carried from 22 on up to 35. And that is the actual true market value of that item is 22, not 35. And certainly that's a What's the difference between me getting your, your 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 help to represent this problem and any other problem I bring to eBay and everybody else wanting me to take it to their suggestion department myself? I don't get it. How come you're so willing to help with this when it's the first time I ever brought a suggestion to eBay that anybody's even cared about? I'm not sure. And I'm sorry that they've you know, didn't push you back to the suggestion box. I mean, certainly if you feel that it'll get resolved faster by sending in the suggestion yourself, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'd like to save you the time and, and take that on for you. Hey, you can believe there's no way in hell I'm going to get a hold of your suggestion department. I'm not working for free, you know. I'd rather sit here and have a harassing conversation with you all afternoon about this before I make one more push through eBay without getting paid for it. Well, no, and that's why I have no problem taking this back for you because, like you said, you don't work for free. So I can take that back and, and get those suggestions submitted for you. That's not a problem at all. But in the meantime, what I would do is I would reach out to that seller and say, hey, you know, the system is sending me my offer at $35, but I was listed as the high bidder at 22 Is that an adjustment that you can make to help me out? Well, or you can just not accept the offer. Well, I'll tell you what. Consider, considering the extra hoops I have to jump through to make that happen, that's not going to happen either. So maybe more, it's more of an incentive to your wigs there when they think about it. If they want to make the sale, they will increase the value for me to buy it instead of putting me through hoops to buy it. So yeah, if they want to, if they want to make this happen, they're going to change it so that the shield is left off where I is left off. The cap is right there where the shield began. That's it. And I don't have to go through any extra hoops to get it. If you certainly think that this is show bidding, that's certainly something that we can review. But ultimately, it was reported to us as a non-bidding buyer. And so, either way, the second chance offer would have been sent at $35. Because that was the maximum amount that you had bid on the item.
Yeah, okay. Anyhow, again, I'm not going to touch this any further. We're done with this conversation. If, you're, if your wigs really want to get this handled, they'll make sure I don't have to jump through any hoops because I'm not going to contact this buyer anymore. I'm done with it. I mean, if it said 22, I might have bought that, but not now. Okay, and, and I'm certainly sorry that you missed out on this, but maybe you'll be able to find another one at a similar price. Have a good day. Have a great day. Thanks so much for calling in. What do you think about that conversation, huh? Let that be a lesson to you. eBay's out there for their own best interest. Thanks for watching.